What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another board banter with again. Wayne Brothers. And we're back with Scythe. Having yeah. a good time with Scythe. We love this game. And oh, yeah. what we really love about this game is what everybody loves about this game, mm -hmm. the mechs. The mechs. The mechs are awesome. Today we're going to be ranking them. We each went through our own personal list and ranked them from first through seventh. We're not including the Rise of Fenris expansion packs, so no spoilers for that. Don't worry. And these are not in order. They're not. No, this is just for presentation. But we if you consider Albion and Tagawa spoilers, then I guess technically Yeah, technical so spoilers, uh, Invaders from Afar expansion yes. spoilers, but that's okay. Yeah. So, Nate, let's just start it off with you. Um, we're each going to go 7th place and then 6th place and so forth. So, what is your last place stupidest mech on the book? None of these... Are stupid. Some of them are just no, worse you're wrong. than others. You're oh, wrong. All right. One of, one of them I know. Stupid. I know what you're gonna do. <laughs> I know what you're gonna stupid. do. I'm looking at it right now. I'm at the tractor. All right. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yep. They took a tractor. Yep. They put two legs on it and yep. then a gun. And uh, no, three legs. No, I guess that's no, a, that's a, a wheel. wheel that's like, it's, it's just a tractor. <laughs> uh, it's an. It's so sad because all these other ones are actually like they're creative. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And this one just seems like an afterthought. I don't know. But, hey, you know. <sighs> yeah, but it fun, can't be validated. <laughs> fun fact is that in Stonemaier Games Tapestry, one of their little cards references yes, this that's right. mech. So, and, yeah. go find it. It's pretty awesome. It's either yeah. a tapestry card or an adventure. Pretty sure it's a tapestry. Yeah, I think it's in the background card. of a tapestry card. Yeah, yeah. You gotta yeah. love it when they do that. Yeah. So, so, so that's my number seven. What's All yours? Right. My number seven... Um, I, I agree that this is a little... It's not last? It's a little silly. Ooh. Nope. I've made the Saxony mech last because <laughs> it just looks like a midget light tank on some stilts. Like, this looks sturdy. This looks like you could it's just true. push it over and it'd be like, no! Oh. It's true, but it's <laughs> nimble, right? Maybe it doesn't it's like a, like a scout bot, scout mech. It looks like a crab that's lost <laughs> half of its legs. <laughs> and, and look at the gun. Like, the, at least the gun on... Crimea is like what four mi four millimeters <laughs> it's like a long. stick out of a window. But look at this; it's an even smaller stick. That's yeah, pretty bad. It's it's yeah, it's kind of small. <laughs> it's pretty bad. So that's my last place. All right, what's what's your sixth place? My number six is Tagawa. Actually, is Tagawa? Yeah. Okay. To me, okay. this one is just it's not it's not terrible, but it's mm -hmm. it's like a just a big round ball, and it's just not. <laughs> I don't know. It, to me, it reminds me of like every car made in the late '90s, early 2000s that were just like completely formless. <laughs> They're just like a blob on wheels. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. So it's very cringy. It looks to me. like cyberpunk, is what it looks like to me. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure I know either, but I, I'm gonna say it looks like it. <laughs> but it's a cool word. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean the guns are cool, but other than that, okay. it's, I don't like it. So yeah, yeah. So okay, my number six is yeah. Crimea. I was, is it Crimea or Crimea? What Crimea, is it? Crimea. Crimea. Yeah. Um, for everything Nate said, it's literally a tractor with legs and a tiny gun on the front. Yeah. But it's still cooler than Saxony. Well, I have to disagree. My number five yep. is Saxon. Num okay. But, uh, to be fair, I mean, it's, I just think at least it's kind of an original concept, you know, even if it is like it's a tank in with battle, legs. maybe not the best, you know, but neither is Saxon. So. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's kind of dinky and disappointing, but at least there's some thought. Yeah. Which, yeah. not that there isn't in that, I just that I don't like Tagawa at all, so. Okay. As a whole. I, I mean, I, I think Tagawa is like I, the I worst could possible that. thing this game has ever received is Tagawa in general. <laughs> so, yeah. In all of our lists yeah. we're going to make for this game, I have a feeling Tagawa will always it's average gonna be to dead lists. Pretty bad. <laughs> Yeah. I don't remember where I put it. We'll we'll come up to it All soon, right. I think. Yeah. Hey, it's if you like yeah. it, that's okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's okay. okay. You're allowed to like it. Oh, uh, what are we on? You you just I did, did five. fifth place. You're on five. My fifth place is Tagawa. Okay. So yes, <laughs> yes, I did put a last, just because it doesn't really fit with all these other mechs. These are kind of like steampunk, you know, interesting like 1920s, and this just does not fit. Kind of blob. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Not much else that needs yep. to be said. Nope. Uh, my number four is Nordic. Um, what? Well, see, here's the what? thing. Here's the thing. No. I used to, and I know, <laughs> okay. because okay. when we first started playing this game, okay. I was like, oh, man, I just, I love this mech. Literally, I picked man. Nordic because of the mechs. I was like, they're so cool. And since then, I've just, it's still cool. Yeah, right? it is. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. It's still cool. 
It's just, it doesn't do it for me anymore. I don't know why, all right? It's a boat with legs, man. Right, so from a practicality issue, like, that, well, actually, that is pretty practical. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I, I used to love it. It used yep. to be number one for me, and it's it's fallen from that glory. I'm just not impressed with it anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't that. know what else to say. That's, um, I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> I'm here to support you in this time. No, you're not. No, you're no, not. No, I'm not. I do not support this at all. Okay. You know what? I can't change it now. It is. And I've got to stick by my, I got to stick with my decision. Okay. So, okay. My number four is fourth is Albion. Cause this is just kind of mid, midline to me. It, it looks kind of silly, but at the same time, it looks like a chicken with armor and a, a cannon instead of a beak. <laughs> know what I'm saying? What's wrong with that? <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> It, it's, it is cool, but it's just weird enough that it's not going to get any higher than fourth place for me. So that's that's, well, that's what I did. My number three is Albion. Albion okay. I don't know what yep. it is about this design. It's like the squatting. Like <laughs> it just looks. And the best thing, the best thing about this. Look, this is probably super blurry. You can like think of these guns on this thing, dude. It can shoot like at any direction. <laughs> any direction. At any time. <laughs> Are you sure that isn't like a like an exhaust? pipe out the back nah it's a gun yeah. <laughs> it's gotta be a gun man I mean, come on it's, a, it's no it's it's okay I mean, look at that it can like it's got some anti-aircraft on it <laughs> that's I, i'm not it's con- a solid three for me I'm i not like the design like... i like all the guns even if you think they're exhaust ports which hey worst case okay. scenario it's putting out diesel fumes which is giving people throat cancer that's right so, yeah or lung cancer. it's anti-prius is it's a good yes. mech. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, my number three was Rusviet. Um, because it's it's getting pretty cool. I mean... Wow, I at, can't believe that. As a function of a mech, I don't think farming scythes... Like, oh, those are not effective as farming scythes because they're gigantic, and they're also not effective as weapons because, look, these are all ranged mechs. Apparently you're not aware how critical hand-to-hand combat is. <laughs> In mech warfare. In mech warfare. <laughs> melee combat uh, now i'm i'm not trying to slam the rusi because obviously it's my third place but i'm just trying to defend why i didn't place it any higher because it it does look pretty sounds cool. like you're backpedaling no i it's third place it's third place, third place is what it is solid non-negotiable yeah right, yeah okay, all right well my number two number two yeah it is polania okay and all i right. actually really right. like it was a hard hard time because i actually yeah. love I love the shoulder-mounted guns, and I love the the scythes yeah. on this one, yeah. on Rusviet. Uh, a little bit more than I... I really, really, really like the okay. design on this one. It reminds me of uh, the moose from Chappie. If you've seen Chappie, you know what I'm talking about. This looks mm-hmm. a lot like Hugh Jackman's moose. Okay. Um, and it's just cool. It's a really cool design. Very unique. Um, I love the cockpit on it. It's super awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, just some nice guns on it. It's a pretty classic looking mech, but it's got some revolutionary yeah. design to it, yeah. I'd say. So really solid number two. Really okay. neck and neck between those guys. I 100% agree. My number two is the Plania mech. Just because it looks so classic and it looks so powerful. I mean, look how big the guns are. Very imposing. And any mech warrior fans out there, if you mount two little box shoulder missile launchers on each side this would 100 percent be a mad cat i mean it's it's like i'll, I'll show you a picture sometime and you'll, you'll see it's it is what it is yeah i love palania palania is awesome palania is yeah. awesome all right number one number one gotta be a roost fit because okay it's yep. just it looks awesome i like i said i love the shoulder mounted guns yeah and i think you're just really underestimating <laughs> no, the value no. of the sides because no Let's take, this is probably a bad example because okay. it's pretty garbage, yeah. but in the event that, like, this happens right here, you know, yeah, <laughs> this guy's got a little pea shooter. Look at this. You just, you hook him and he just, <laughs> So is it like a T-Rex that comes Listen, up to other mechs and just goes it's, like this? Okay, it's got, what? look, it's got, like, snipers on here. It's yeah. multifunctional, all right? It's very <laughs> versatile. I can shoot you or I can, like, and it's got some springy legs. It's probably got some moves. Yeah. I can get yeah. up close to you and you just, you know, <laughs> hook it. And, and it's the old hook it. and roll. The old hook and roll. <laughs> so it's awesome. Great okay. design. No okay. matter what you say. It's hey, amazing. Fix the last yeah. place mech. No. <laughs> by place. actually not by far, because it was really hard for me b- between second and first place, just like you. But my first place is Nordic. Because it's a tank mixed with a Viking longboat with legs. 
That's freaking awesome. I probably should have put it ahead of. To I mean, me, it's not better than Planey or Rusviet. Yeah, I probably yeah. should have put it. It's it's really close because this really one I just good. love for an inexplicable reason. Well, this this is like the largest mounted gun on the vehicle, and it can float, and it can like walk over mountains and stuff. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, that that's my it's number one. Nice. Yeah. So there's the top seven or the the all seven mechs yep. ranked in our without without Rise of Fenris, which yes, the funny thing about Rise of Fenris without any spoilers, <clears throat> one of them would have been probably f- almost first, and the other one would have been dead <laughs> <Almost> last. last. <laughs> <laughs> so without saying anything else about it, just know that going yeah, into it would Rise have been of Fenris, interesting to thread in there. Some, maybe, of, the maybe we'll, are, maybe some we'll... of the mechs are super cool, and then some of them are just complete yeah, trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe we'll redo this at some point a few years down and. We'll add an expansion the to there. our video. Yeah, yeah. Literally. Maybe we'll have metal mechs at that point. Yeah. They look cooler, painted and everything. Definitely need some metal mechs. Yep. It's probably pretty spendy. Yeah. I would think. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> probably buy the base game almost. Yeah, I mean, four mechs each times seven. That's Seriously. 28 just for the, the just first for expansion. The, yeah. yeah. All right, so yeah, let us know what, how you would rank these mechs. And yep. uh, as we found out from our other videos, not if you agree with us, but why you disagree with us, apparently. Yep. That's what people <laughs> so, like to say. Whatever your argument yeah. is for it, yep. for Crimea being the best, go for it. Yep. <laughs> or for either of these being the worst. Yeah. Um, can't You can't explain that one. Yeah. That would be an interesting conversation to have. So thanks Do again it. for watching Away Brothers video, Away Brothers board banter. Way, of course, standing for... Winston and Edward. Exactly. So... Yeah. Leave a comment, subscribe, like the video, share it, and watch some more videos. Thanks, guys. Thank you.